Since I was a little girl, I always remember my dad writing. He was always studying, making notes, figuring out how can I teach this better? How can I convey the principles and philosophy behind my work better? Of course, I didn't think all of these things when I was like four years old, but as I grew up, I realized that my dad really has something to contribute to the world of martial arts and really to everyone's daily lives. The philosophy behind Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do covers more than just the physicality of martial art. And my dad is a huge part of that legacy. And all night my eyes are open All day and all night I've been going All day and all My father has always been this strong, immovable force in my life. And it's been amazing to see him grow and evolve, not only as a teacher and a martial artist, but as an individual. And to see just how much his students and his work have changed him as much as he has changed them. We stay up, we stay on, all day and all night. Oh, yeah. What's happening in my life? Well, I had just recently returned back from a, a stay in England and I was working full time. Um, I re-established myself training in martial arts so I began training in five classical five animal kung fu in Los Angeles Chinatown under Grandmaster Erk Wong at the time so three times a week I was driving from Santa Monica down to um, downtown Los Angeles and then uh, basically again just working full-time and doing that and then I read two articles dealing with Jeet Kune Do and decided that I would really like to, to learn that art. So contacted uh, Dan and Asanto. me down to while he was training class and then we basically sat during the class and talked for two about two hours an hour and a half to two hours and he asked me a lot of questions about my background and where I you know where I came from my martial art background we talked about martial arts um, just again just getting a sense of feeling as to uh, who I was my personality and then at the end of the class he said to me Okay, uh, do you want to start working out? And I said, yeah. Jeet Kune Do has impacted my life in every single facet. I mean, I'm coming up on my 47th anniversary of, of training in it and, and teaching it. Um, so, again, as with everything else, initially it was the physical part of it that got me interested, but then as soon as I began training, I realized there was a whole lot, this whole other side of it, which was the philosophical side. And what, what you learned in the school how could that be taken out into the real world and used in everyday life? So that started me on the path of researching how could I take what I learned in the school out into the arena that 
every one of us steps in each day, and that's the arena of life. If you can look at the lineage of it, you know, um, so many people have, you know, training that dates back, you know, hundreds, you know, of more years. You, you can look at Chris's lineage, you know, and trace it back to, to Bruce Lee to not that long ago. So, you know, when you're, when you're looking at training, when you're looking at, you know, contributions, you can look at the, the seminars he goes to, he travels all over the world. You know, people pay for him to, to, you know, go to them and teach them things that they may not, they may not know, they may not, they may be missing. You know, you look at, you know, the books that he's written, you know. To this day, I am proud of all my father has accomplished. From his early work on film sets, doing stunt choreography, to his publications in both his personal written works and various martial arts magazines. He's collaborated with fellow martial artists on podcasts. Uh, his seminars have taken him all over the world and really reached out to encourage growth in the Jeet Kune Do community. I'm proud to be his daughter. And, you know, not many people can say that at 17 they found their passion and trusted it enough to follow it for 47 years, no less. Chris is a living example of that and of the legacy that is Bruce Lee and Jeet Kune Do.